Last month, the state of Florida announced that officials recorded the state's 200,000 historic and cultural resource. WTXL decided to take a look at some of those resources in our area. First stop, Tall Timbers Research Station and Land Conservancy, located in northern Leon County, right near the Florida-Georgia border. Hunter, naturalist, conservationist. Henry Beadle was a man who dedicated his life to making sure that the natural resources of the Red Hills region are here for years to come. That's why upon his death, he requested that this property, Tall Timbers, be turned into a research facility. Henry Beadle had been recognized as an outstanding conservationist for leaving his property for the long-term research uh, of wildlife management using prescribed fire. When Henry and his wife Genevieve moved to the hunting plantation in the 1920s, quail populations were low. Henry's neighbor claimed that the reason was because of government efforts to get landowners to stop controlled burns. Once fire was brought back to the landscape, the birds returned. And so the conservation efforts of our staff today are equally important with the research that is being done on wildlife here at Tall Timbers. Next, the Goodwood Museum and Garden, a hidden historic oasis right in the center of Tallahassee. Goodwood uh, was built, like I said, around 1840 and uh, over over time, five different families owned Goodwood, and um, many, many families, of course, lived here and worked here as well. While it started off as a plantation, it also had a life housing tenants in the many guest houses. At one point, it was an improvised hippie commune and saw it share a famous guest when it was owned by Florida Senator William C. Hodges. And Helen Keller was invited here for dinner. Uh, the Hodges kept a really wonderful guest book that we have today and there's a letter from Helen Keller in the guest book that's signed by her, typed and signed by her, um, and thanking the Hodges for their hospitality. And it begins by describing what a beautiful place Goodwood is. When staff first discovered the letter, the statement about its beauty gave them pause, but the letter goes on to explain that the grounds smelled wonderful because of the many plants and flowers the Goodwood Gardens are known for. While these are just two resources in our area, there are over 9,500 resources listed with the Florida Master Site File in Leon, Gadsden, Wakulla, and Jefferson Counties. I'm Megan Vaughn with WTXL Digital.